Hi, I just wanted to give a quick overview over the smoother module. It's a class I've written for Godot 4 and it interpolates between physics processes and it can interpolate uh, any property that lends itself to interpolation like floats, vectors and so on, especially if you're using various hardware like different refresh rates on monitors. I'll give a quick example here just to show this uh, in the project settings uh, in physics I set the physics ticks per second to only 13. That's really low and it's not recommended but it demonstrates this module better. So if I don't interpolate at all we have this kind of result. Okay. Since the smoother has a class name it is also available as a node in the scene tree. The way you would typically use this is you just uh, make this node a child of the root node, for example, a level scene. So let's do that. Smoother. Here we go. It doesn't really matter where it is. It will automatically move up to this position, but let's just put it here. Yeah, let's see what that does. And it's pretty smooth now. And so it automatically smooths any node in the scene tree, including nested nodes that have a custom physics process. So this works as we've seen well in 2D, but 3D is likewise smoothed. This node isn't because it's a rigid body 3D and that's not supported. We can see the settings here. So by default, yeah, that's one thing to be aware of. By default, the smoother node smooths the position property of a node. There's currently a bug in Godot and it doesn't actually show this default value, but even though if you don't see it here, it smooths the position properties. It smooths its parent, means in this case level 2D. There's nothing to smooth in here, so we'll just ignore this node because it doesn't have a custom physics process. And it will recursively by default smooth the children. Recursive is relative to the parent of the smoother. So if I have recursive on, then all children and recursive children of level 2D will be smoothed, interpolated. If I turn recursive off, then it will not actually smooth anything except the level itself. Usually you really want to turn this on, but there are a couple of situations where you probably want to turn it off. You may have noticed also that when I run this scene, and it is smoothed. Clearly the rotation is not smoothed. I can change that very easily. Now I have to tell the smoother what properties I want to smooth in the nodes that are affected by it. So position is usually a good idea, right? And then let's also add rotation. This could be any property even a custom property, if you want to interpolate color or something, if that would make any sense. And if a node doesn't have that property, it would simply ignore it for that particular node. Let's see that again. You can see now rotation is also smoothed. There are two more options, includes and excludes. Includes, for example, if I wouldn't include anything here and it wouldn't smooth anything, but you want one particular or two particular nodes to be interpolated, then you just add them to includes. Let's add player, for example, and maybe the second enemy. Okay, run this again. Player is interpolated, first enemy is not. Second enemy is, okay. Let me just reset this. And then you have excludes, where you could simply exclude a certain array uh, from being smoothed. So we just select whichever node or nodes you specifically don't want to have smoothed. Why do we even need these options? Well, for bigger levels, you may want to implement some performance optimization because it doesn't necessarily make sense to smooth all nodes, even if they're off screen. You could use includes and excludes arrays for that. For example, if you're using includes, you just smooth only the nodes that are in 
uh, on screen, like in this area. So you could, for example, like I've done here in the player sprite or in the enemy sprite, have a visible on screen notifier 2D that fires a signal. So on screen entered, on screen exited, which is passed to its root node, the player. So it will basically um, on screen entered, emit a signal, screen entered, on screen exited, emit a signal, screen exited, which is then propagated to the level. So in my level scene, that screen entered, screen exited signal is then dispatched to my level script, for example. So on node screen entered, um, if there's a smoother in the tree, then one method is to remove that node from the excludes array. And when it exits the screen, we add it to the excludes array. Or the other way around, on screen entered, we add the node to the includes array. And likewise, on node screen exited, we remove it from the includes node. You know, you can look at this project and look through the details how I set it up, just as an example. It's also on GitHub. When I run this, you can see um, down here that I'm actually logging out which nodes are currently being smoothed. So they get dynamically added and removed from the smoother module. So right now it's the player, if you have a look down here. And now the enemy entered the screen enemy exits the screen, so it's really quite efficient in this way. Enemy 1, enemy 2 enters, so for a brief moment here we had player enemy 1 and enemy 2 smoothed at the same time. One note here, um, you see this is a rigid body 2D, so rigid body 2D and rigid body 3D unfortunately are not supported by this module. Ah, one more note, so if for example I wanted to use the smoother for one particular note, I could just Put it under the player. Since smooth parent is enabled, and we probably don't need recursive in this case, it will only interpolate the player. So let's try that again. Yeah. Wonderful. And everything else is not smoothed in this case. It really depends where it's located in the scene tree and naturally what the settings are. But besides that, you don't have to make any changes to your code. You find this project on GitHub over here. So github.com, my name, Godo Smoother Note. And here's some documentation. I hope it's helpful. And also in a separate repository, there is like a demo test scene. It's all linked up here. So that's pretty much uh, the project I've shown you just before this one. Yeah, I hope that's helpful and happy coding. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.